Hello, this video is all about the evidence for past climate change. So in other words, how do we know what the climate was like in the past? And how do we know that it's been very different at certain times in the past? Okay, before we begin, um, scientists believe that in the past, the Earth at one point, several billion years ago, was completely covered in ice. But at other times, uh, scientists think that there was no ice anywhere on planet Earth. So it was a much, much warmer period in time. OK, so um, we know that in the past, the climate has been very, very different. And that's before humans came along. So we need to think about what is some of the evidence? How do we know that the climate was very different in the past? Um, just before we look at the ways we can do that, here we have a graph showing the last 11,000 years. Now, this graph is a little bit different to a normal graph you'd look at in that this is where we are today. So this is where I'm pointing is zero today. And actually, uh, going back in time, we go in this direction. OK, so here's 2000 years ago, 4000 years ago, 6000, all the way back to about 10,000, 11,000 years ago. Um, the areas that are in red are where the temperatures are typically warmer. So it's the average global temperature is above 15 degrees and the areas in blue are where it's typically a colder period in time. We can see here about 9000 years ago was the end of the last main ice age. Here about one to one and a half thousand years ago, we had a warm period. This is known as the medieval warm period. Uh, at this time, you could actually grow grapes in the south of England. And then we had a mini ice age. And we can see that on here. Um, and at this time, you could actually go ice skating on the River Thames because it used to freeze over uh, in winter. So in the last 10, 11,000 years, the climate has changed quite a lot. And just to recap, the areas that are warmer periods are called interglacials. And the areas in blue, the colder periods, are called glacials. OK, so the first piece of evidence for climate change is something called ice cores. OK, and you can see what they look like in the pictures over here. They're like long tubes of ice that can be dug up from Antarctica. So what scientists do is they go to Antarctica and they drill out these very, very long pieces of ice. Now, if we imagine here, this is one of the pieces of ice. The further down in the ice you go, the further back in time you go, because the ice has built up over many, many years. And what scientists can do is they can look for bubbles of gas that are trapped in the ice. So if we have a look between 2000 and 3000 years ago on this example, uh, let's imagine these are carbon dioxide molecules. We can see that in this period of time, between 2000 and 3000 years ago, um, there was lots and lots of carbon dioxide trapped in the ice. Therefore, we can assume this was probably a warmer period on Earth because carbon dioxide traps heat in the atmosphere. If we go to 1,000 to 2,000 years ago, there's not very much carbon dioxide here. So we can say, well, actually, that period of time probably was much colder. So the further, the deeper the ice, the further back it represents. If there is more carbon dioxide trapped in the ice, it was probably a warmer period. And that's because carbon dioxide, as we know, traps heat in the atmosphere. OK. The second piece of evidence for climate change is by looking at tree rings. Now, as trees grow, they add an extra layer of bark, which we can see in their rings. So as they grow, they add more and more layers. And we can see that if we cut the tree open by looking at the rings uh, in the bark. Typically, if it's a warm and wet year, the rings are normally much thicker. However, if it's a cooler, drier year, the rings are normally much thinner. So if you look back and you count back the years, you can say, OK, the, the rings here are very thin. Therefore, it was probably a colder year. Whereas if we can find some thicker rings, it was probably a warmer year. And there's a fancy word here. This is just people who study trees, uh, dendrochron dendrochronologists. Uh, they can look at the tree rings and they can try and work out what the climate was like in the past from that. OK, the third piece of evidence is something we call historical sources. What we can do is we can look back at things that have been produced by humans and we can try and work out what the climate was like from those. This can include cave paintings, diary entries, uh, books and novels like Charles Dickens, and also more recently, we can look at photographs as well. 
And from historical novels, we know that the River Thames used to freeze uh, quite regularly in the late 1700s and early 1800s. So we can work out from that well, it probably was a colder period uh, in time. Okay, and on to the final piece of evidence for climate change. Um, first of all, all plants produce something called pollen, and pollen is a bit like a fingerprint. So the same way that we all have a different fingerprint, plants all have a different shape to their pollen. So you can see over here, different plants have different shapes to their pollen. Now, some plants are adapted for a warmer climate. Certain plants grow really well in a warm climate. Certain plants grow really well in a colder climate. The pollen gets preserved. It falls into something called a peat bog, and that means the pollen doesn't fall apart and decay. It is trapped there, and it stays there for thousands and thousands of years. And what we can do is we can take that pollen out of the peat bog. We can work out the age of the peat bog, and we can say, okay, well, in this peat bog, which is from this many years ago, um, most of the plants are warm plants, or most of the plants are cold plants, and from that we can guess what the climate was like. So changes in the pollen uh, found in different levels of a bog show changes in the climate over time. Okay, so just to recap, there are four pieces of evidence for climate change in the past and how we know the climate was very different in the past. We can look at ice cores, we can look at tree rings, we can look at historical sources or historical records, and we can also look at uh, the pollen shape, and we call this pollen analysis. Okay, right, I'd like you to have a go at this uh, exam question now. So it says explain one piece of evidence for climate change, and it's worth three marks. So if it's an explain a uh, question with three marks, you should follow point, explain, develop, P-E-D. So can you now pause the video? Uh, have a go at this question and then restart the video when you're done. So pause in in three, two, one. Okay, here's one example uh, using ice cores. You may have chosen a different one. So one piece of evidence for climate change is ice cores. That's my point. This is because the bubbles of gas can be measured in the ice cores. That's my explanation. And then to develop it, and the higher the carbon dioxide in the ice, the warmer the period. So just to recap again, four pieces of evidence for past climate change, ice cores, tree rings, historical sources, and pollen analysis.